So where I see crypto as effectively as a replacement for cash? We believe that the, the price uh, will be tenfold. Hey guys, I'm super excited to make this video for you today because we are going to be covering three cryptos, two of which are trading under $2 and all of which have the potential to bring us as investors some massive returns. Money. So I did a lot of research to make this video for you guys today, so I'd really appreciate an early thumbs up. So my first pick is a project that is literally flying under the radar and that not many people are talking about right now and yet they have tremendous opportunity ahead of themselves in Q4 of 2022 because they are setting out to disrupt the entire global financial system and it has the potential to become the platform of choice for multi-billion dollar decentralized companies with worldwide reach and which is also in fact one of the industries that has yet to be really disrupted but that's all about to change and that project is ethereum and it's currently trading at $1,600 at the making of this video now if you think that you have missed the button ethereum and that it can't get much higher than its all-time high of $4,000 then you have not been paying attention. You see, we live in an age where the internet has transformed our lives and the world as we know it. Billions of people have internet access and multi-trillion dollar corporations have emerged as a result of the internet revolution. Consider the possibility that Ethereum may one day replace the global computer we have now as a decentralized application platform. And a growing number of people are taking advantage of this use case and Ethereum serves as a starting point for all sorts of smart contracts. You see that the centralized nature of Ethereum makes it ideal for digitizing a wide range of assets. And since Ethereum is the world's biggest centralized computer, it has the potential to fundamentally alter how information is exchanged online. Ethereum also has the potential to become the platform of choice for multi-billion dollar companies. And in my opinion, Ethereum is still in its very infancy. So now you have not missed the boat with Ethereum. Noise! Noise! And while Ethereum is far beyond Bitcoin in value, it's also far ahead of other competitors. And even though it came out years after some of the other cryptocurrencies, it has far exceeded its place in the market because of its unique technology and it's growing the most popular blockchain and the second largest cryptocurrency behind Bitcoin. And once the merge officially happens this year, Ethereum will shift to proof of stake based consensus that will reduce the number of coins and take mining out of the equation. The merge is also expected to drastically reduce Ethereum's energy consumption. And although Ether doesn't have the widespread acceptance Bitcoin does, traditional companies are coming on board. For example, we have Fidelity, who is bulking up its tech workforce to create the infrastructure needed to offer Ethereum custody and trading services to all their customers. And as of now, there are around 20,000 cryptocurrencies. And while many altcoins might not make it through this crypto winter, Ethereum has the best, if not the biggest, chance of coming out stronger than it has ever been before. You see, Ethereum has the potential to bring in another 100x within this decade. And before we go into my next pick, please be careful with the crypto bots in the comment section and let me know which other cryptocurrency I should add to my next list in the comments down below. Well, my next pick on the list is a project that is built on the Ethereum network and brings exposure to the growth in blockchain powered games in the metaverse. In just right under $2, this project is uniquely positioned to take over multiple billion dollar markets and yet has brought investors over 5,000% in gains. Now this project is called the Decentraland. You see, the success of digital platforms like Roblox or Minecraft has sparked the developments of new ideas in the blockchain space. The Decentraland is an innovative blockchain idea that offers a virtual reality environment in which users can monetize content inside a virtual shared area. And although the central land grew in popularity over time, the concept of virtual reality worlds still remains largely unpopular. And so the metaverse industry right now is very small. So the potential upside here is tremendous. But that's not all, because within this metaverse, you can buy land, create landscapes, shop, establish a business, and even socialize among other players. Not only that, but back in February, Grayscale, the largest publicly traded Bitcoin fund in the world, with more than $24 billion in assets, launched its Decentraland Trust. And Grayscale has mainly focused on innovative large cap cryptocurrencies with their funds. That being said, Decentraland has become a prominent large cap cryptocurrency in its own right now. And right now it's at the top 50 in terms of crypto market cap. And in terms of what I think could be the best penny coin to buy right now, well, trading at under 70 cents, this crypto is a top 10 cryptocurrency by market cap. 
It is also one of the biggest and safest platforms for smart contracts, and that project is Cardano. Now, Cardano's peer research method for integrating crypto projects and programs makes it the safest smart contract blockchain in the world today. And much like most of its rivals, Ethereum is currently working on adding additional functions to its technology and its network. For example, there are dApps and DeFi currencies as well as algorithmic stablecoins, Web3 and NFTs. Now look at it this way. Cardano outperforms all of its Ethereum killers in terms of supported crypto technologies, transaction speeds, and gas costs. Not to mention the massive community that Cardano has. Now in terms of safety, Cardano is one of the safest blockchains out there. And this creates an advantage in bringing businesses that want to build on the cryptoverse. And the growth in Cardano's community of supporters and a quicker adoption of crypto technology are all likely to contribute to much, much higher prices in ADA. And even though ADA's price has not been doing much lately, Cardano has been improving the blockchain and it's frequently introducing new features to increase its adoption. You see, Cardano is trying to solve scalability and high gas fees that comes from an increase in transaction volumes. And we have seen this in blockchains like Ethereum. Cardano is also solving a big problem for the people, which is to skip the middlemen in financial institutions. And that means direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need of a bank. Apart from that, they also have multiple projects in Africa, and some of these projects will help a large group of people have a digital identity for the first time in their lives, which can then be linked to wallets, which can also be linked to payment systems, which can also be linked to properties, and so on. You see, blockchain technology can help the unbanked, people without access to banking services, and the blockchain will just allow them to participate in the economy. In addition, Transparency on the blockchain counteracts government corruption. And as Huskinson has always said, technology makes a new economy possible. And for this, I believe that it's going to be essential for governments and companies to want to work together with other blockchains, and one of them being Cardano. Why do you think we need a more decentralized world? We want to live in a global society. And if you want to live in a global society, one of the first things you don't want is for one actor in that global society to have complete control over critical things, resources. So the point of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is they take those resources that should be kind of a public good, and if they're digitizable, get them into a situation where they're completely open and uh, basically could then build businesses on top of that, but the underlying infrastructure is no longer controlled. If you have centralization, one person basically gets to decide those rules. And uh, oftentimes those become very anti-competitive and they actually become anti-consumer and they end up hurting people or exposing people to um, a lot of market failures. Do you think we're coming to the end of nation state power? And if so, what kind of global structures are going to evolve? So I don't really view it as let's get rid of the nation state. What happens is you can start taking lots of government services and put them into a structure where they have radical transparency. Suddenly, all of your tax revenue is open source and everybody can look at it and see where the money's going. At the end of the day, you have less friction, less fraud, less waste, less abuse, more transparency, and ultimately less consolidation of power. Cardano's proof of stake also allows those that stake ADA on their blockchain to be rewarded with extra Cardano coins in return for their efforts. And this staking method contributes to the blockchain's overall security. Apart from that, ADA is also used in voting, and unlike other blockchain projects, token holders vote and decide on protocol modifications in Cardano rather than miners. So anytime a new update or development to the Cardano blockchain is suggested, Cardano holders vote with their ADA, and everyone that owns that cryptocurrency has a say in it on what's going to happen next. So let me know your thoughts on these coins and let me know what crypto or topics you want me to talk about next in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much and I love you so much. I hope that you have an amazing day. I'll see you next time.